Hi! In this video, we'll discuss uniform circular motion. So uniform circular motion is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, and it turns out there's lots of objects that undergo this type of motion, so if we can understand it, then we can model their behaviour. Firstly, we'll define what exactly uniform circular motion is, then we'll move on to real-life examples of objects undergoing uniform circular motion, and finally, we'll derive the velocity of an object that's undergoing uniform circular motion. So what is uniform circular motion? Well, it occurs when an object follows a circular path at a constant or uniform speed. So you can see in the graphic an object that is following a circular path at a constant speed and is therefore undergoing uniform circular motion. There are lots of examples of objects that undergo uniform circular motion or something very close to it. One example that might come to mind is the Earth, which orbits the Sun. One revolution around the Sun takes one year, or about 365 days. Another example is the Moon, which orbits the Earth, and takes about one month to complete one orbit. A third example of an object undergoing uniform circular motion is a tennis ball attached to a string. When the tennis ball is made to swing around a wooden pole, it will undergo uniform circular motion. The ball on the string example is similar to lots of other examples you may see of uniform circular motion, where an object is attached to a string and is being swung around. You can easily demonstrate this to yourself. Objects travelling along a path on the interior of a cone can also undergo uniform circular motion if they're travelling at a constant speed. Finally, another example is a car on a circular racetrack. If the car is travelling at a constant velocity on a circular racetrack, then it is undergoing uniform circular motion.